amplifiers and effects pedals and all kinds of systems. And I, so I'm very familiar with electronics. But when I got to V-Stream Media Center, I saw something that I couldn't believe. I, I just, it was, it's amazing. I've taken my uh, AT&T U-verse bill down from 180 bucks a month down to $70 a month because I still got to have the high-speed internet. Uh, I'm on contract with uh, AT&T until October, so I took it down to the very bare, bare minimum of $19 a month to get the local channels. But I got to tell you, I never watch local TV anyway. But I spend my hours are watching some of the most phenomenal movies in 1080p high definition. Uh, watch all of my television shows that I watch. I've got about 10 shows that I like keeping up with. And, and fortunately or unfortunately, I, I never get to watch them when they're on live on television. I always recorded them when I had my DVR. But when I would watch them, I'd find myself fast forwarding through all the commercials. Now that I can watch all of my television shows, zero commercials. I mean, uh, an hour show is 41 minutes long and I get to watch 41 minutes of TV. Even being able to go back and pull up some of the old series that I really enjoyed watching over the years that I kind of wanted to go re-familiarize myself with them. And I've been able to watch those. Blair is absolutely amazing. I, there's nothing, I can't say enough for it. And, I, and we've got three people that we've invited on the call because you guys always hear from me. You always hear from Blair. You always hear from Alan. We brought some other people on the call tonight and let you hear from them. These are people that are out there building their V-Stream business. They're serious about their V-Stream business. They're dedicated, committed to their business, and they're committed to their teams. And the first gentleman I want to bring on is Mr. John Simpson. He's got what he calls the rock stars, and these guys are rocking out. John, will you please come on and tell everybody, now be honest with them, John, okay? Tell them the good, bad, and the ugly, if you would, please. But uh, please uh, come on and tell everybody what your experience has been with the V-Stream TV Media Center. Thanks, Greg. Can you hear me okay? I hear you perfectly well, sir. Thank you. Well, great. Yeah, again, folks, thanks for having me on. Uh, my partner, my business partner, Joe Kronk, and myself have a, a business relationship going back eight years online, and uh, we call ourselves the Biz Rockstars. And when we when we saw uh, the B-Stream media box and we saw the potential of it, we just absolutely knew it was something we had to be part of. Because uh, we want to be cutting edge. I mean, let's face back. Uh, you know, you got to be ahead of the curve when it comes to technology or you'll be behind. Um, I've had my box for about a week and a half now. I got it last Monday evening. And, and I'm just going to tell you, I, I, when I turned it on, my belief system went through the roof. Uh, it absolutely changed the whole dynamic of how I felt about the business as well as the box because I was actually there to touch it and feel and watch it work. Um, it took me a minute to get my head wrapped around on how it worked. I didn't have any instructions, but I worked my way through it. And uh, one of the things I think is most exciting is, you know, I have the world of, of, of television and movies at my fingertips now. And uh, one of the things we've done um, last night, my daughter was going to go on a date with her boyfriend. She's a senior in high school, and they were going to go to the movies, and they're going to go see a movie called Focus. I said, well, hold on a minute. Let's see if we can find it here on the box. And needless to say, I looked on the box, I searched, and I found it, and I turned it on, and there it was. That was a neat thing to be able to. They still went out and spent $50 at the movies, but it was pretty incredible to be able to tell them that they had that ability. Um, you know, and, and then a movie came out on Redbox last week, and I, uh, I, uh, I looked on the box, and there it was, that same movie that came out on Redbox. So it's very current. It was very easy to set up. Um, one of the things I'm big into, and I can't wait to really uh, get further into it, I'm big into sports. I, I'm a big baseball and football fan. I follow the Red Sox, uh, the Yankees, and uh, the Packers. And, you know, I'll be able to follow along with that. And, and I, I'm excited about what that part of it does. Um, and then for just kind of a last story, uh, my grandkids were driving me crazy last weekend in the house. And they said, hey, everybody sit down. And uh, they said, well, we don't watch the box. Grandpa, I want you to turn on Tom and Jerry. So I searched Tom and Jerry, and I found a 1940 episode of Tom and Jerry 
and they must have watched five in a row. <laughs> now, that's, the cost of that box alone now is paid for itself because I can find what I need to find. But, uh, you know, that's kind of it. If, if you're new on the call, and there's only one way to do it, and that's to try it. And once you do, you'll be the before we go on, if there's someone on the back, on the speaker line, and you've got your computer speakers on, if you could please turn those down, we're getting some feedback. Um, I know we have a couple speakers on the call, so please uh, just be cognizant that uh, yeah, we can hear everything as well. That's much better. Thank you for doing that. Thank you very much, Blair. I've got another young man on the phone here that uh, has had his V-Stream Media Center now for a little over a week. And uh, I invited him to come on. In fact, he was on our team call on Sunday night and did a great job. And I invited him to come back on this call. Uh, Jeremy Hetty, uh, would you please come on and tell everybody what your experience has been with the V-Stream TV Media Center? Uh, hi, Greg. How you doing, uh, good. Blair? Good, good. Um, well, I got my V-Stream about a week and a half ago. And um, as, as I told a lot of people on the team call, I only have 1.5 uh, megabytes per second as my internet speed because of my contract and everything with my internet company. Um, it's recommended to have a 10 megabyte per second speed, um, so I wasn't sure how well this how well this thing was going to work. Uh, so I plugged it in and I started messing around with it. I tried to play some HD movies and my speed just wasn't fast enough. Well, the great thing about this product is is that you don't just have HD. You have HD, HQ, MQ. Um, and, and what I found out was that MQ is actually a really good quality, and at my speed, I was actually able to watch movies. Um, wow. And uh, I, I want to tell you a story. This actually is it's something new that just happened. Uh, last night, uh, I went over to my dad's house, and he's got about 3.5 3 megabytes per second. Um, I went over there, and I put it on HQ, and we started watching some things, and I was kind of showing my dad, you know, showing it off to my dad and everything. Well, he tells me that uh, he found a movie that he thought my mom would like, which is an old musical from 1976 of Bugsy Malone. He's been looking for this movie in VHS and, and on the even on the Internet. He's been looking for this movie for 10 years now. For, it's the musical of Bugsy Malone. In two minutes, I had that movie playing on his TV. Tell me that's not awesome. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. That's amazing, Jeremy. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Jeremy, let me ask you a question. It, was there a big learning curve for you to go through? I mean, it's just like Blair talked about. I remember getting my first iPhone, and then I switched from the iPhones a couple of years ago, and I went to the Samsung Galaxy, and I went through a major learning curve on those. Did you find yourself, was it difficult for you to figure out what to do on this on this machine? Not at all. Uh, the 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 XBMC app is right there on the front page. As soon as you turn it on, you click on it, uh, go right into the add-ons on the movies, and it takes you right to Genesis. Um, there was a little bit of a learning curve on how to figure out how to do the favoriting, but the great thing is we have the VStream forum now, um, and I went in there, looked up the video for it on how to on how to favorite things, and bam, I had it favorited within a few minutes. Awesome. Well, Jerry, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the VStream forum because anybody that's got one of these devices, you've got to be a member of that forum. You've got to go in there and take a look at those videos because there again, Blair's put some videos together that walks people through. And I realize not everybody's technical and some people are going to have more difficulty than others. Just be patient, guys. I'm telling you, once you learn a few simple steps, uh, I mean, it's amazing. Last but not least, we've got a young lady on the call with us who is absolutely probably researched every app like I've never seen anybody. She's absolutely committed to her team. She's working very hard. She's got a great organization being built. Carolyn, will you please come on and share everybody, share with everybody your experience with the VStream TV Media, Media Center. It's Carolyn <laughs> Koch, everybody. Thank you. Hi, absolutely, Greg. You guys hear me okay? Perfect. Thank you. All right. I got my... Be stream on about the 23rd, about a week ago. And when I first got it, excitement all over because I've used Roku boxes, I use the WB TV boxes. So the Z the stream is just the same size and lightweight, very light. It's portable, you can take it anywhere, stick it in your purse, backpack, whatever. I got it. You get an HDMI cord, plug it up, went to settings. Connected it to my um, Wi-Fi because you can either do it with the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet, but I use the Wi-Fi. 
So set up took, took me less than three minutes to set it up. Now, after setting it up, going through the add-ons, you can uh, compare them to like having an app on your phone, like you download a new app and you open it up to research what's in it. Or the same thing with these add-ons. There's so many to choose from. And each of them have a list of networks that you can stream, uh, whether it's local uh, networks, um, the network channels, ABC, CW, CBS. People ask if you can get Cinemax, the HBO, the Lifetime, the Bravo. You can find every network that you see on cable, satellite. You can get movies that's on Netflix. You can get documentary. You can get sports. Anything that you're looking for is on, on there. And the thing is, you, you play around with it like you do your iPhone and your uh, Android. You go through the app, see what apps are there for what. Because whenever you're looking for something, if you wanted a calculator, you're going to go in your apps and in your app store and search for a calculator. Well, simulated this, you go to your add-ons, look through the add-ons and see what channels they have streaming. And the quality of them are HD, especially like I like uh, they said, if you have the 10 megabytes per second, you're getting an awesome picture because they're, they're real clear, like I would be sitting here watching my cable. And it, it's no buffering. I get no buffering at all. They stream well. I had Netflix. I have to cancel it because I don't need it anymore. And Netflix buffers. <laughs> so every time I'll be in the middle of watching um, Breaking Bad, it, it, it stops and load and load and then it starts over. I have not had that problem with this. And they have the favorites. You can save your series and your favorites. You can save them in your library. You can save TV shows, live TV shows. Uh, after they air, you got five minutes, and you can watch it without no commercials. We tested that, too. Um, also, if there were any episodes that you missed, everyone has a DVR that do have cable or satellite. You, you rent a DVR. It's rented monthly along with your channel you're paying for. Well, you don't have, you have no need for a recorder, a DVR recorder anymore, because you can rewind, fast forward, go back two days, whatever whatever you missed, it's there. It's still there. And that's great. It got kid, kid uh, cartoons, Disney shows forever. I mean, we, we were looking up things from when my kids were like two, and the oldest is like 26. So <laughs> so they found everything. We're, we're having fun with it. New movies, movies in theaters, give it about a couple of days, five days. And they're streaming very nicely without the um, buffering. And um, you get international channels, whatever country you're from, you can look up your network in that country, and we're streaming it. It's there. You can get it streamed in any language. I tried to change the language into another language that I don't understand, but you can do it. You can change the language. You can watch your country. You can watch any sports. I was watching live racing the other day because I, I, I like bikes and uh you know, motocross sports and stuff like that. So that's why that stream, uh, WWE, no matter what sport it is, you'll find it there. And, yes, there is pay-per-view because I see people asking a question. You are able to stream it, and it's only when the live event is on because I did try it, and it tells you. It will stream when there's a live event, and currently there wasn't any. So it's, it's like the best money I ever spent, and if there was not a opportunity with this, I would still get it. <laughs> I'll get more than one, too, because um, the money will save you on your cable bill every month is incredible. I rent three boxes right now, and i got to turn them all in from Dish Network. And I cancel my Netflix, like I said. So, And it'll save me on movie money, too, because i got four kids. And when you carry all of them to the movies and buy all the popcorn and all the little snacks, that adds up. So I just save me a bunch of money by switching to d three. Awesome, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys coming on the call with us tonight. You did an awesome job. Blair, back to you. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. And, you know, Carolyn brought up a great point. I mean, it does have tremendous uh, international content. And uh, Dr. K is out on the line tonight. And, um, you know, Dr. K, tell the folks what you're seeing with the international content. I know you're doing a lot of work in the Vietnamese community. Yes. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Excellent. I am very, very excited. I have tried several boxes I have here. I compared them next to each other. I mean, there is no comparison whatsoever. And 
those people who have some issues, really these are minor issues, just the programming. You have the best support, this company with support, with Blair has been great. Um, international channels. Uh, I am very, very excited in the cloud, under the cloud TV, you have everything you can imagine from the area around the world or language. You can pull news in every language from around the world. I am involved with the Vietnamese communities for 30 years, uh, and we have some major players coming. In fact, we have a big meeting this Saturday with the Vietnamese community, and uh, we have in the in the in the, on the cloud we have 59 Vietnamese channels. Nobody could believe it when I showed it to them, and they are all working perfect. I have German groups; they love it. I have Russian group. I have. Uh, I mean, people from everywhere, the Arabic community, excited about this. We have the news, the sports, the movies, the entertainment, documentary, in every language, guys. This is, has been unbelievable. And the nice thing about it, we're getting people to sign up overseas in every country around the world. When you go to join now, you'll see all the countries. Once you enter into the application and you put the address, it's just incredible.